be on the test? That's one of the most common questions that students ask their teachers. They think that if they can get an A on a test, it's a sign that they've gained knowledge and both the student and the teacher can be satisfied. But have the students really gained knowledge in, a, in the way that Charlotte Mason conceptualizes it? Remember that knowledge is not something that we can possess. It's an ongoing process of building deeper and deeper relationships with everything in creation. But how can we know that those relationships are developing? It is something that defies measurement in the traditional ways in which we tend to think of assessment. Is it even important to try to measure and quantify learning in this model if comparing and sorting students is not our end goal? Mason didn't believe so. All those quizzes, comprehension questions, tests, and grades actually undermine true knowledge by coming between the students and the ideas which we, with which we want them to form deep personal relationships. In fact, G.F. Husband, in writing for Mason's monthly magazine, The Parents Review, wrote that in using comprehension questions, all of the thinking has already been done by the person asking the question. The primary tool that Mason used to gain insight into how relationships were coming along was narration, usually the telling back of what the child had read or observed. Narration can be viewed as an informal kind of assessment, but more importantly, it's a tool to help children process their learning, organize their thoughts, and articulate the connections they're making. In fact, Mason called narration the act of knowing. Students narrate their lessons twice, once right after their reading, and then again at the end of the term on their examinations. The simplicity and efficiency of narration can deceive us into thinking that it is not doing much, so teachers who are running short on time may be tempted to skip this part of the lesson. However, much research has been done that has showed narration or retelling as one of the most powerful tools at our disposal for improving reading comprehension. In fact, Lev Vygotsky said that oral language is one of the primary ways in which humans process information. Therefore, every child needs to narrate every lesson in some way. Narration can be as simple as talking or writing about what's been read or observed by the child, but narration need not be limited to oral or written retelling. Some lessons are processed best by drawing diagrams that show relationships among concepts. Other times, students may draw what they remember about a painting or what they've observed in nature or make a model of a geography concept. Relationship grows through that ongoing and direct interaction between author and reader, between artist and viewer, and between nature and observer. When students have to do the work themselves to make meaning, the knowledge they uncover become, becomes more meaningful to them. That is why Mason said that the only true education is self-education. This too is echoed by today's thinkers. In her book, Talking Voices, Deborah Tannen explains that much as one cares for a person, animal, or object that one has had the responsibility of taking care of, so students not only understand information better, but care more about it if they've done their own work to make its meaning. The fruit of what Michael Polanyi calls personal knowledge defies traditional methods of quantification. Since each individual comes to us with a unique set of personality traits, preferences, gifting, and experiences, the knowledge that they build is stamped with their personality. There's no answer key for this kind of learning. Teachers are limited to watching for processing, relationships, caring, small transformations, and the development of informed opinions when they attempt to assess how a student is progressing. It looks slightly different in every student, and that is okay. In fact, it's better than okay, because discussion among students in which they share their diverse thoughts on an idea only deepens their knowledge even more.